All right. Hey, you probably know him as a tough talking star of True TV's Operation Repo. There's no mistake. I'm going to tell you guys one time. This is a repossession. OK, whoever's not the register in order, then start doing your job. Do I tell you what, either your, your guy can move it. If you guys are union or whatever, I'm going to move it. Okay. This ain't right. Listen. But the repossession king now has another title. Try hero. Reality star Lou Pizarro stepped up on the streets of Los Angeles when a suspect driving a stolen BMW slammed into a car, stopped in traffic. So then that guy jumps out and almost like a cartoon with a skateboard in his hand, tries to get away. He gets about a block with the cops on his tail. But it all came to an end when Pizarro, seen there in his signature red pickup, Cuts him off just in time. Police then took the guy into custody. Joining us right now is the action star himself, uh, the star of Operation Repo. Uh, hey, Lou, congratulations on doing that. Set the scene for us. Where were you? How did you know what was un un unfolding? Well, thank you. And I was directly in front of the, uh, the guys uh, in the truck at a light. And I seen the uh, LAPD uh, helicopter hovering, seen all the action going on. I, I watched this car running you know from the police officers then this this dummy rear end somebody uh, that's where it got real for me it's like when he hit this car he got out he started running down the street and i just wanted to slow this guy down that way the cops could you know take him down and take him into custody so that was my thought at the time so what would you do you, you found a way or anticipated his move and end up pinning him against the fence where's that instinct come from you know, it's just one of those things I could tell you, you know, uh, could my Marine Corps days, all the years as a repossessor, you know, <laughs> dealing with a lot of uh, people, you know, just being able to read people. Right. And so. well, I have to say a guy in a BMW who gets out and tries to get away in a skateboard, it's hard to read and anticipate yeah. that. But when you did it and the cops saw what you did and you obviously helped and you bring this guy to justice, did they say to you, thanks, but don't do that again? Do they say thanks or that's it or they recognize you? What was it like? You know, they actually said thank you, um, and they actually, you know, were giggling about it. You know, uh, one of the cops did recognize me, but he didn't say anything, and then he told uh, one of the female officers there, and they're like, oh, wow, you know, they were like, wow, really? They, so everybody was shaking my hand. It, it was pretty interesting, uh, you know. Uh, I, I don't recommend that you do this, but it just happened. It was instinct at the time, right. and it turned out okay, so... Well, you learn how to uh, act under pressure in the Marines. You got street smart in the Bronx, and you have a hit TV show. And, you were right. put, and it was a real, real, real reality show that you brought to us this morning. Hey, Lou, glad you're on our side. Thanks so much for joining us, and thanks for your service. Okay, thank you very much. You guys have a great day out there. You too. Uh, Lou Bizarro getting up to recount a fascinating scene yesterday. Coming up.